Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sneha and today I'm going to share with you guys my review on these Makeup Revolution eggs and specifically I have the shades Gold and Dragon so that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. So I've already primed my eyelids with the NARS Eye Primer and that's something I always have to do because I have very oily eyelids. So I would highly recommend using some form of primer or if you're lucky enough and you don't get eyeshadow creasing when you use concealer, then you can just use that. So on one of my eyes, I'm going to use this palette. This is the one in gold and as you can see it has five neutral everyday kind of eyeshadows. And then it has these beautiful highlighters at the bottom. And these highlighters can also be used as eyeshadows technically. So you have like seven eyeshadows. The only con with this palette is that I feel like this eyeshadow right here and then the highlighter here are kind of similar so I wish they were slightly different. But when I do swatch it they are kind of slightly different. But just know that they are similar. Now in the gold palette you get three mattes so the three shades on the top are mattes which I really like. So you have a light shade, a medium shade and a dark shade and then you have two stunning shimmery eyeshadows. One which is like a peachy gold, this light one and the other one I would say like a bronzy tone, like a deep bronze. So those are the shimmery eyeshadows and then of course you get these two. One is like a stunning yellow gold um, highlighter similar to the Fenty Beauty. I believe it was called Kilowatt, Kilowatt, I think one of those. Um, and then the other one is of course a peachy toned one. So I'm going to show you swatches. There are better swatches on my Instagram. I'm at beautylashes19 on all my social media. So if you want to follow me there, you could. I'm just going to quickly swatch this on my arm. And again, my arm does not have any eye primer. So these are what the swatches of the eyeshadows look like. I'm just going to show you here so you can see it against my skin tone. The mattes are really nice. They go on very smooth, especially the darker shades. And then you have two of the shimmery shades which are not really chunky. I would call them a really nice, finely milled shimmer. Again, very smooth when you swatch them. So I will swatch the highlighters along with the highlighters from this Red Dragon palette. So this one has, again, five eyeshadows on the top and two highlighters. Now in this palette, these two shades are the only mattes that you get while you get three shimmers. So that's something to consider. You do not have a really deep shade in this palette. So you might want to incorporate maybe a dark brown or a black eyeshadow to complement this palette. But you do get some stunning shimmery eyeshadows. One being a gold, one is like a copper tone, and the third is like a burgundy shade. And then you get two highlighters which are very different from the eyeshadows. So I really like that in this palette. But these two are kind of again very similar to each other. I do wish that they had switched one of these into the gold and had one of the other shades in the gold into this one, the peachy tone one. But that's just what I think personally. So I'm just going to quickly swatch this dragon palette, starting with the mattes. And some of these shades I'm just doing a single swipe and they are super pigmented. So that's the second dragon palette. As you can see the mattes are quite different in the two palettes and so are the shimmery shades I would say. But with this palette, the darker shade you get is this guy, the second matte shade. Now moving on to the highlighters. Now for some reason, the highlighters at the bottom for both the palettes are kind of more powdery and slightly shimmery compared to the shades on the top. Okay, so these are the highlighters. The bottom two are the ones included in the gold one and the top two are the ones from the dragon palette. So as you can see on my skin tone, I personally prefer the one in the dragon one, the one right on top. It's like a nice light champagne gold, but has a warm undertone. So I really like that. And then these two mixed together also look really nice as a deeper highlight. So that's lovely as well. Also keep in mind that these are relatively inexpensive. In the UK at least, I know that these retail for about five pounds each which in itself is a steal, I feel. There's also offers on Superdrug where you can get three of these eggs for the price of two. So for £10, you would get three of these eggs and that brings the total to about £3.3 per egg. 
at my local Superdrug. The other shades were all sold out, so I could only get my hands on these two shades. So let's start with the demonstrations. So starting with the gold palette, I think I'm going to mix the two light mattes and take it into my crease. And I've not set my eye primer yet, so let's see how these shades perform. Now these do have some kick up if you can see in the pan when I pat the brush in them but it's only five pounds so I'm not going to complain too much about it. So I'm just going back and forth between the beige and the lighter brown so the two lighter mattes. Just going to apply this in my crease and then going into the light, lighter shade then just diffusing the edges especially because I haven't set my eye primer so sometimes eyeshadows can stick to a certain place but so far I'm happy with how these shades are applying next I'm going into the darkest matte this dark brown using the same brush I'm going to further deepen up the crease bringing it slightly lower into the socket compared to that first brown shade or the medium brown shade. Again, if you'd like to use these eyeshadows more intensely, you can always add a um, jumbo pencil or something like that to act as a base if you want it to be deeper. So if you wanted a brown smoky eye, you can totally put like black kajal all over your eyelid, smudge it out and then pack on the shade, it's going to turn darker. I'm going back in with that middle brown shade, the medium brown. Just going to blend it on the edges of this dark brown. Now to choose between the shimmers, I think I'm going to use um, this peachy color on the inner corner as a highlight. And then um, maybe the gold in the middle and this bronze in the outer corner. I don't know. We'll see. I think I'm going to first start with the bronzy shade. Just going to pack it on the outer corner. As you can see it's not very deep on my skin tone. It almost looks like a dark bronze gold but it does apply quite nicely. And of course these eyeshadows can be intensified by using a damp brush. Next I'm going into that stunning gold highlighter. It's going to pack it right here so you can see that one is super pigmented and it shows up really well on my skin tone just blend the edges between the gold and that bronze shade in the inner corner i'm going to take the lightest shimmer and then for my lower lash line i'm using that shimmery bronze shade the gold here and then going into the, the matte browns to deepen up the outer corner. Just mixing the light medium brown and the dark brown. Using mostly dark brown now. And then going back into the blending brush we had used earlier. Just softening the edges. And I feel like I need some more depth on the lower lash line. I'm going in with that dark brown shade in the outer corner. So basically I've ended up covering the bronze shade with this dark brown because the bronze on its own is not dark enough for defining. It still layers quite nicely so I've layered a matte over the shimmer eyeshadow. And of course you can replace the gold that I've used, the face highlighter for the bronze and that can be a more subtle eye look. So that's an easy eye look using this palette. I'm just going to add mascara. So that's what the eye looks like. It's a very simple everyday kind of eye. Of course you can intensify the dark brown eyeshadow by using a smaller crease brush. So say something like this or even something like this. So you can define it more if you're going out in the evening and of course apply the eyeshadows wet. I think I'm going to show you uh, this gold one if I pack it on wet on a wet brush. How much more intensity I get on the lid and then we'll use them as face highlighter. So I'm just going to um, take some of that gold highlight on the brush and 
then spray my brush with the MAC uh, charged water, which is a hydrating mist. And then let's pack it on the center of the eyelid. So do you see the difference in the intensity now compared to the front of the gold? So this can be done with any of the metallic eyeshadows in these palettes and the face highlighters, of course. So next I'm going to show you how I use these as a face highlighter. I think I'm going to start with this shade just because it's lighter and I'm going to show you how that looks. So just using a brush that I like to use for highlighter. This is by Zoeva and it's number 134. And of course you can use these wet, but I don't tend to use them wet because these are quite dramatic on their own. So I'm going to take some on the brush, tap it off because it can have quite a bit of fallout. Hopefully you'll be able to see. Do you guys see the peachy highlighter? Slightly darker than my skin tone, but it's not bad. So there you can see I just used a very small amount. And this is the intensity I get. Now I want to show you how the gold one looks on my skin tone. So I'm just going to take a little bit, just pat it on top, right on the highlight portion. Do you see that slight golden shift? So I can make that shade work by mixing it with this other peachy highlighter. So that's what this palette or this egg looks like on my skin tone. Now moving on to the other egg, which is the red one, it's called Dragon. So since we have the highlighter brush out, I'm just going to show you what these shades look like on my skin tone. So I'm going to start off with um, this one, which is my favorite. It's like a nice peachy gold color. And then I'm going to add a second layer of this one just on top to show you how you can intensify the highlighter if you have a similar skin tone as mine. So starting with that first shade, you see how beautiful this shade is. I've taken too much actually. You need the tiniest amount with these highlighters. So that's what that shade looks like. Hopefully you can see that. And then I'm going to layer a little bit of this right at the highest point of my cheeks. So I think it's going to tone down the gold that's showing through because the other one is more champagne-y. So I'm taking the second one, it's very powdery, so tap off the excess. I'm just applying it right on top. So you can't see a difference, I'm just going to layer a little bit more. Do you see how that one is more champagne -y compared to the first one which was more gold toned? So you can mix these two as well. And there you have a blinding highlight for less than five pounds and eyeshadows. So moving on to the eyeshadows for this eye. So I'm first going to start off with this reddish matte shade. Now in this palette there is nothing close to the skin tone so you will have to use something if you want to blend out the edges of this eyeshadow. So use a light hand. Again, quite a bit of kickback if you can see in the pan when I tap off the excess. Run this in my socket. You can totally create a halo eye with this but I'm trying to use most of the shades in the palette so you can see how they look. So that's why I'm doing the same shape. So you can build up on this red or pink shade if you want to. But since I'm using it in the crease, I don't want this too intense. I'm just buffing this lightly on the edges so it becomes lighter. Just going to intensify the shade right here, close to my socket. I'm going to use a smaller brush for this deeper pinky mauve tone. Just make sure to tap off so you don't get fallout on your face. So I'm just going to take the shade in the socket. So hopefully you can see that it is deepening up the shade, but it doesn't deepen it up too much like that dark brown in the other palette. So that's a complaint with this color selection. I would have really liked a black or a really dark plum tone in this palette instead of the shade. I am going to go back into that first matte shade and just lightly apply it to the edges right here. I feel like the color looks like it's stopping suddenly. 
So that's the problem when you don't have something close to your skin tone to buff out the edges. But I do want to show you an entire look just using this palette and not adding any other shades. I think I'm just going to leave it like this before my entire eye looks kind of red. I think I want to use this copper shade on the lid, maybe the shimmery burgundy on the outer half like we did here and then the lightest shimmer on the inner tear duct area. So I'm going to start with the lightest one here. It's a lovely gold. It's not too yellow like the other one. Quite intense as well. Then moving straight into that beautiful copper color. And again, I'm just applying it dry right now. I can show you again how the intensity goes up once we wet the brush. Repeating the same on the bottom lash line and then using the burgundy purple shimmer shade. Just packing that on the outer corner. Blending a little bit here and going in again with this darker shade trying to intensify the outer corner. Now before I put on mascara and eyeliner I do want to show you how say the copper shade and the shade get more intense once you uh, have a damp brush. And hopefully you can see it there. Definitely gets more intense. Especially if you were to apply it in the center will definitely make more of an impact than on the outer corner. I'm going to apply it right here. Do you see that difference compared to the inner corner? I'm just going to quickly add, you know, the same eyeliner and mascara and I'll be right back. So again, if I come close, you can see how these look. the gold palette and this is the dragon palette hopefully you can see the highlight now for my final thoughts on these i think they are amazing for under five pounds so five pounds or 3.3 or less depending on what deal you might get i think these are really good especially these two shades again i'm not aware of how the other shades might be performing but these two as you can see they applied really nice so so if you had your eye out probably on that Fenty Beauty Kilowatt highlighter, you might want to get the gold one. It has that stunning highlighter that can also be used as a eyeshadow. And of course it has those neutral eyeshadows. I do think that the color selection in this is a lot more um, universal and more flattering to a lot of skin tones compared to this one. So I personally do prefer the gold one, but I love the highlighter, this large one right here on my cheeks that's what i tend to use on an everyday basis and some of the shimmery eyeshadows are really pretty as you can see but again the con with this palette is that there's not enough deepening up shade for the outer corner as you can see here i mean it doesn't look bad but you know a black or a dark brown would have really amped up this look and secondly there is no light transition shade so nothing for your brow bone actually I mean, you could use this, but I don't like a shimmery brow bone, but that's just me personally. So between the two palettes, I do prefer the gold one. So that's my final review for these. I mean, they're just such cute pieces to have, you know, on your vanity or even lying around the house. So yeah, I'm very impressed with these. And I do know that some of you guys also wanted a review on the Makeup Revolution highlighter. This is the one in gold. Again, this is very similar in texture to the top highlighters in these palettes. So it's not as powdery or glittery as the bottom highlighters in the Makeup Revolution eggs. So if I just slide right here, you can see how much pigmentation there is. And it didn't have any kick up. So if I can bring it closer. It's still very much a part of the <laughs> gold bar, I guess. So it's very creamy. And see how that shade compares to this gold. It's just a hint deeper. So I think this will look stunning on deeper skin tones or even as an eyeshadow. And again, as with the other highlighters, this can also be applied 
with a damp brush for more intensity. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit that like button and also consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me.